guys, what's up? It's Will here back for another video and today we're doing Cedar Point versus Six Flags Magic Mountain, the two thrill capitals of the US. Now I think this is gonna be one of the best theme park battles we're ever gonna do. Now let's not waste any time and get straight into the battle. Okay, so first up we have Gatekeeper versus X2. Now X2 will win this because it's a very disorientating ride while Gatekeeper is just a standard B&M wing coaster. Yes, it does have the tallest inversion in the world, but when the second tallest inversion in the world is at the same park, that kind of makes it not so special anymore. So that is why X2 will be taking these points because it is a very disorientating ride. Okay, so next up we have Steel Vengeance, which is a coaster coming in 2018 to Cedar Point, versus Twisted Colossus. Now, Twisted Colossus is definitely the best RMC that RMC have done so far. Twisted, Twisted Colossus is really good, it looks really cool. So how you've got the two um, cars going around, drooling, most of the time at least and how you get a boat go on both sides. It's really good, but I think Steel Vengeance, it's gonna break quite a lot of records. So, Steel Vengeance, even though we haven't experienced it yet, I think Steel Vengeance will be a better ride, so that is why Steel Vengeance will be taking these points. Okay, so next up we have Magnum XL200 versus Goliath. Now, Goliath is almost an exact clone of titan i don't know where that is sorry um but magnum xl 200 it started the coaster wars where everybody tried to build a coaster over 200 feet they had to keep on building their coasters taller faster things like that you get the idea but goliath it's just a standard hyper coaster and it's got lots of advertisement so I think Magnum XL 200, even though it's a rougher ride, I think Magnum XL 200 is a better ride. Okay, so next up we have Rougarou versus Scream. Now this was extremely hard. They are basically the same thing. I know Scream has a couple more inversions, I think. But generally, from what I've heard from people who have gone out there, I've heard that Rougarou is smoother than Scream and also Scream is a parking lot coaster where you can see the parking lot and it's just in the parking lot it doesn't look like it's in a very good location but Rougarou it's not in a forest but it's got quite a few trees around it which adds to like the bear sort of theme I don't know what it's themed to Cedar Point hardly ever puts theming on their rides I guess Scream's um, same it's not really themed from what I've heard, Rougarou's better ride, so Rougarou will be taking these points. Okay, so next up we have Raptor at Cedar Point versus Batman the Ride. Now there are tons of clones of Batman the Ride, and they all have the same name, Batman the Ride, except for a couple. There's one at the uh, Le Rom which doesn't have Batman the Ride name, I think it's Le Monster or something like that. Sorry, I don't know my coaster name very well. But Raptor very intense well from what i've heard it's very intense so raptor will be taking these points for not being a clone and being original so that's all really to say about it so now on to the next coaster fight okay so corkscrew at cedar point versus the new revolution now corkscrew was the first roller coaster to feature three inversions it would have been the first roller coaster to feature a vertical loop if the new revolution didn't come and stop it. I think it was about maybe one week, three days earlier that the revolution opened, so it could claim about the first vertical loop. So, I, I'm going to say that the revolution will win for having the first ever vertical loop, and it's definitely a smoother ride than the corkscrew. So that is exactly why the new revolution will be taking these points. Okay, so next we have Top Thrill Dragster versus Superman Escape from Krypton. Now, Top Thrill Dragster doesn't launch you backwards, but Top Thrill Dragster is more well known and it was the first ever Stratocoaster to be built in the world. So without um, Top Thrill Dragster we wouldn't have had King Dakar, because let's be honest, 
Six Flags probably copied off um, Cedar Point to get the idea for King Dakar. The only reason why it's not exactly the same is because Cedar Point thought, no sorry, Six Flags thought, okay let's put an airtime hill, not so it doesn't look like we've cloned it. So that's the only reason why, but Top Thrill Dragster will win for being the first ever Stratocoaster. Next up we have Iron Dragon vs Ninja. Now Ninja, it, u it uses the terrain a lot more than Iron Dragon. Iron Dragon, it does use the terrain and they're both a bit over water. They both have moments, their moments over water. But because Ninja uses the terrain a lot more, it feels like you're going a lot faster than you actually are. So that is why Ninja will take these points. Okay, now this is where Cedar Point slam Magic Mountain into the brake run, pun intended. Okay, so Cedar Point, it has nine extra coasters. Nine, I could have been honest with you, I could have compared a couple of them, but it would have been easier just to do this because they have quite a lot of similarities and they also have quite a lot of differences. So it would have been a bit hard to, um, like, compare them and see which one is better so i thought it was easier to just um tally up which ones were um extra and just do the same for magic mountain but this definitely beat a magic mountain's collection of coasters cedar point literally so many coasters okay so we uh, we just did the cedar point extra coasters now it'd be only fair to do the magic mountain extra coasters now they have like tattoo the new revolution Oh no, sorry, I meant Full Throttle. We've already compared the new revolution to Corkscrew. Riddler's Revenge, Green Lantern First Flight, things like that. So, they will be gaining 7 points, which they were on 3, so now they're on 10. Well, there's not really m much else to say about that, so let's move on to the next thing. Thingy majiggy. Okay, so these are the results so far. Now, Cedar Point is winning, but this isn't the final score. We've just finished all of the coasters. We've still got flat rides, scenery, things like that. But so far, Magic Mountain is on 10, and Cedar Point is on 14. So, can Magic Mountain make a comeback? Find out. Well, spoiler alert, no. Because Cedar Point has lots of flat rides. So, I don't think Magic Mountain will be t making a comeback today. Do you? Yeah, Cedar Point's on 19 now. Nah, yeah, they can just move back. Yeah, they're a real captain. Oh, great, they started running back. Oh, for the Magic Mountain flat rides. What? Well, they've only got one, so that's only 11, so... You might as well just go back away. Yeah, you're agreeing with that again. Finally! Okay. Okay, seriously, they started running back. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to go back to the battle. Okay, right, next we have location. Now, Cedar Point is right in the middle of Lake Huri, so it is really cool. So you get great views of when you're on the coasters over 200 feet. There's five, so, you know, quite a lot. You can see Lake Huri, and it's probably, and I've been on any of them, but it's probably going to be a great view for you. Well, Six Flags Magic Mountain, it's located near to some mountains, but it is quite a good view, but it doesn't give you as nearly as good view as it would in, in Lake Uri, because, you know, it's a lake and you're surrounded by water, so it's got to be really cool. Okay, now it's time for Magic Mountain to make that comeback. Uh, oh, okay, maybe not. See the point? Yeah, maybe you get a better view of Lake Yuri. Because from Magic Mountain, you can hardly see it. But you'll have to have very good eyes to see Lake Yuri from Magic Mountain. So, see the point will win because you get a great view of Lake Yuri. Because there's very, because they have very high coasters, especially on the 200 feet and over coasters. You'll probably get a great view of Lake Yuri. Okay, finally on to the results. Now winning by a massive 11 points. 11. Are you kidding me? 11. So one park must have absolutely smashed the other one. Can you guys guess what it is? Well, it's no other than Cedar Point! Yes, Cedar Point did win. They doubled Magic Mountain's score, 
so congratulations to Cedar Point. Um, you're amazing. You absolutely smashed Magic Mountain. You doubled their score, so you should definitely go to Cedar Point. I hope I make it out there to go to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. I really want to go there, but as you can see, I don't really live anywhere close there. So probably I'll go there in about 20 years. But anyway, that will wrap up today's video, and I will see you guys later. Bye!